to another topic in uh, wave mechanics, quantum mechanics, uh, the cop topic of the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. This is a result of things acting as waves and not being real localized, not real defined, that Heisenberg uh, came up with some relationships that tell us that we can't make simultaneous perfect measurements of the position and momentum in that direction. And we can't have perfect uh, simultaneous measurements of, uh, of temperature, or sorry, of energy in a uh, real short time interval if there's an interaction that occurs. So this first calculation will deal with position and momentum. Uh, we want uh, uh, you know, measurement of speed here to take place. We do that and we get uh, 3.4 times 10 to 6 meters per second for the speed. It has an uncertainty of 8.2 times 10 to the fourth meters per second. What's the resulting uncertainty in the position of the electron? This would be uh, a limit of how well we can know the position of the electron. We can't do a measurement better than what we're going to calculate here. So Heisenberg's uh, relationship here, the uncertainty in position times the uncertainty in the momentum in that direction, the component of the momentum, is um, greater than or equal to Planck's constant over 4 pi. What our textbook would uh, would tell us here, and we'll use that. We're just going to use the equals portion here and try to get the smallest delta x that we can. <coughs> so in this situation, the measurement of the velocity is not part of the calculation here. This uh, uncertainty in the momentum is going to be mass and uncertainty in the uh, velocity of the object. We don't need the actual velocity number. We need the uncertainty in the velocity to do this calculation. And we're working with an electron here, so we've got the mass of the electron. We know Planck's constant. We're ready to calculate. Um, so delta x, Planck's constant, 6.626, 10 to the minus 34 in standard metric units. We have to divide by 4 pi. And I'm dividing by the uh, uncertainty the momentum on both sides. So the delta px comes uh, to the denominator over on the right side. The mass of the electron, 9.109, 10 to the minus 31. And the uncertainty in the velocity, 8.2 times 10 to the fourth meters per second. So those are our factors. Um, the delta x is calculated with h divided by 4 pi divided by the uncertainty in the momentum. The uncertainty in the momentum is m times delta v. You should pause and do this calculation on your own calculator. I get 7.06 to the minus 10 meters. 7.06 times 10 to the minus 10 meters. And this is uh, somewhat bigger than the size of an atom, but uh, just for a little concept uh, part of that. And this, of course, can be adjusted if someone would choose to let the uncertainty in the velocity be larger, then the uncertainty in the position would be smaller. These two are inversely proportional. As you try to get better numbers on the velocity, you get worse information on where the particle is located. Or if you try to very closely locate the particle, make delta x small, then you have very large uncertainty in the velocity and the momentum. So the other uncertainty principle deals with energy and time. And the relationship is the uncertainty in the energy multiplied by the length of the time interval where we measure that energy. Again, it's greater than or equal. Just We'll just use the equal portion to give us our smallest uncertainty in the energy, um, h over 4 pi. So this electron is in the energy state for 4 times 10 to the minus 12 seconds. This will apply to, as we study atoms later, if the electron having a certain energy state and a certain lifetime in that state. So delta t is 4 times 10 to the minus 12 seconds. Let's calculate delta e. So we've got all the information we need. So 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34, 4 pi, and the uncertainty in the in the time, the length of time, I should say. Yeah. And it's 4. 
or I was thinking of 8, 4 times 10 to the minus 12 seconds is uh, what I need to bring in here as a factor. Work this out in your calculator in case I make another error of uh, my mathematics on my calculator. And I came up with 1.318 times 10 to the minus 23rd joules. And as we talked about uh, atoms and so forth, the, the electron volt's a little easier energy unit to work with. So I'm going to convert this into electron volts. And to do that, our conversion factor between joules and electron volts is 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19. So it makes it a little smaller number to uh, worry about powers of 10. 8.23 times 10 to the minus 5 electron volts. That would be our uncertainty in the energy uh, for this electron in that energy state that has a lifetime 4 times 10 to the minus 12 seconds. Again, as we would make the uh, if we would make the time longer, the electron would be in that energy state for a longer time, delta E would be smaller. Or if we would choose an energy state where the electron is there for a shorter time, if delta T is smaller, then delta E would be larger. But these relationships, these uncertainty relationships, there is an interaction, an interplay uh, between position and momentum, uncertainty in those, and between uncertainty in energy and length of time in the measurement.